Hello everyone, today we are going to see what Azure static web apps are and then we are going to see how to deploy your Angular application that has a Azure Functions backend to an Azure static web app. Unlike in Azure App Services, this is a global service that used to host static web content. So basically your HTML, CSS, JavaScript files will be delivered through CDNs. Also this has a first class integration with source controls like GitHub and Azure DevOps pipeline. So basically the only way that you deploy to static web apps is using these source controls. And if you go down a bit, you will see we have integrated API support as well with Azure Functions. And today I'm going to show you how to deploy an Azure function there as well. And if you go into concepts and API and API support with Azure functions, here you will see that there are two ways for you to deploy your Azure functions. One is managed functions. The, uh, the next one is bring your own functions. When it comes to managed functions, you're just deploying your code along with your static applications code. But when it comes to bring your own functions, you're deploying another function app and you're attaching it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with managed functions and that only supports HTTP protocol. It doesn't support any time triggers or anything like that. And when it comes to support of these front times, managed functions only supports Node.js, Python and .NET Core currently. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to work with .NET Core. First, let me create a repository on Git. Um, let me call it. All right. And this is all good. Let me click create. All right. Now that we have the uh, the URL and I'm going into VS code and I'm going to clone this. Now that we have our source control in place, let me create our Angular application for that. Let me call it um, sample static app. All right. I made a mistake there, but yeah. I don't want any routing here and CSS is okay. All right, now that we have our Angular application in place, let me add few things here. I'm going into app and this component here, and I'm going to remove some of these existing code. I'm going to do it from here to here. And here I'm going to add only one text box. Now let me save it and go to app component. Here I'm going to add this here this will send http requests every time when someone types on this input and finally let me go to app module and here i'm going to add http and forms module All right, our Angular application is ready now. As you can see, someone typed something here. This function will trigger and this will send an HTTP request to the backend of this application. Now it is time for me to add an Azure function to this Angular application. For that, you should have Azure static web apps. This extension, you should have this installed. Let me install that now. All right, now I'm going back to my directory and then I'm going to press Control and P and then I'm going to search for static web apps. As you can see, we have an option to create a HTTP function and now it is asking me the language that I want this function to be in. I'm going with C sharp and the function name, I'm going to call it that and the namespace. And finally, it is asking me the authentication type. I'm going with anonymous for this sample. All right. Now, as you can see, we have generated the functions application inside of the main repo. As you can see, I'm not going to change anything here. So that basically this function will send you this message every time you call it. So this is good enough for me. Now let me close this. And now our app is ready. Now let me commit this all right now if i go to the repository and refresh this as you can see we have our api and static application as well and now i'm going into azure portal and i'm going to create this static web application for that i'm going to click create resource here and i'm going to search for static web apps 
and click create i need new resource group as well and a name i can just give it any name because this is not a globally unique identifier for this web app and then hosting plan this is going to be a free one and if, you, if you're going with standard one it'll cost you around nine dollars per web application this is the environment for azure functions api so basically the uh, the static content that you serve with this is globally distributed and here we have the option to integrate with source control since i'm using github i can just click sign in all right as you can see we have options to select the organization and repository and branch let me select those now all right that is done now we have to provide the build information since this is an angular application i'm selecting angular here and there are a few things that you should insert here correctly otherwise the app won't work for application if you go here this is the application location in this repo i'm going to provide it here and then the api location this is the api location and finally the output location is usually dist slash the name of our application now if you go back to visual studio code and angular json you can see that here we copy that and paste it here like this and as you can see it is giving me a preview of github workflow file i'm going to review and create all right now let me click create our deployment is complete now let me go to the resource and here you will see a url for accessing this here you will see the link to the yml file in my github repo let me click on this i'm going into actions here as you can see there's a deployment ongoing now let's wait for around one to two minutes and when this deployment is complete we can go and see how the app works as you can see our deployment is complete now let me go back to azure portal now let me go to this link here as you can see our angular app is online now what happens if i type my name here as you can see this is getting updated and this is coming from the web api that we have hosted there if you look into network tab you will see that as you can see every time i type something this sends an http request to the function app that we have hosted inside of this static web app and if you look here we have an option to integrate with application insights and add custom domains and also if you look go here we we'll be able to see the function that we have deployed as you can see here and if you go into environments you can see the github link that we have created today we learned about azure static web apps and we deployed an angular application with dotnet azure functions backend if you have any questions or comments leave them down below and don't forget to subscribe if you learned something new today and thanks for watching